cancer. What up? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of cancer, wherever that may resonate at in your chart. Keep in mind that energy is fluid and the roles can be reversed, so flip them if you need to if it comes to that. And only take what resonates and leave the rest. So I usually pull a couple oracle cards connecting to y'all energy. And it's getting wild for my cancers here. Um, something about some sort of <clears throat> mystical experience or otherworldly experience or maybe some gifts being activated or experience going through some sort of experiences um, with your gifts cancer um, and for some of you this may be something that used to happen in your childhood it's sort of coming back to you and this occurrence is coming by something like that coming out for you guys we also have this retreat card memory so I feel like some sort of maybe bad dream or even like sleep paralysis or some something like that coming through here for my cancers but also something with your gifts mystery um these mystical experiences and something about your akash all right something about an old part of you sort of decaying away and dying and uh maybe some sort of your childhood trauma or something like that you're working through it doing the shadow work healing um, so we'll get into it with the tarot and see what we get, but interesting, very interesting spirit, mother, father, divine, holy spirit. Can we get some messages for my cancers for their highest good, please? Is that a card? I think it is. Okay, templates. <clears throat> There's some sort of balance here in the recent past, some sort of cycle ending. There was a decision made, maybe to take some action, or maybe hesitant on taking action for some of you. Um, current energy for my cancer. A lot wanting to come out, though, nonetheless. Cancer, it looks like you guys are in a period of shadow work right now. In your current energy, we have the Hermit card, and then we've got this actual shadow work card, which is um, a card that's only in this deck here, which is the Moon Child tarot I believe I'm using yep the moon child tarot wow you guys we have some sort of this is amazing energy though I feel like there's a lot of heavy shadow work being worked through right now so maybe things are feeling a little bit chaotic or feeling a little crazy here for you cancer um, because of some sort of action you decided to take here in the recent past to move on from something or maybe a lot of things for some of my cancers moving away from this feels fairly spontaneous too like something just up and sort of like shook something up and it could have been just the transits or maybe some action that you were guided to take here cancer um but i see you in this sort of withdrawn energy right now sort of going within and looking at this situation and really looking deep into it right the, the devil did pop out there's capricorn energy out here virgo energy we've got cancer and pisces out here sagittarius um spirit wants you to know that you're very protected here there is a victory here over this conflict, whatever these lower frequencies are, whatever this devil energy is, brings us to your incoming energy. You guys got the death card, which is totally about transformation in this deck here and liberation, freedom. Um, you've got the star and the ten of cups as well with this death. So this is a total... Um, this is like a rebirth energy here. I, I see you moving towards your happiness. I see you taking the action that you need to take to bring this happiness into your life. I see things calming down, um, working out. I see for some of my cancers, you're working with others, um, getting together with others and to work on some sort of project. What else do we have incoming for my cancers? And then we look at some advice. What is this wish fulfillment? Another 
you know, the star is saying to focus on what it is that you want to come to fruition. I see you moving from this enlightened uh, sort of space and making these decisions. Some of these decisions may not be easy decisions, but you're cutting a lot out and cutting a lot off here, Cancer. And I see you moving forward, making these smart decisions, right? With this Four of Cups, it's saying let's not get... Um, it can be easy for us to get caught on the past, to get stuck focusing on these things that we sort of are being guided away from right now. But this is Spirit saying that everything's working in your favor right now, Cancer. So stay focused on what it is that is right now and what it is that you want to come to fruition here. What's the advice for my Cancers? Judgment. So releasing this fully. Not stressing over this. Knowing that the divine is guiding you, look at you're gaining this divine wisdom. And this was the card I, saw, I thought I saw um, flying out here at the beginning. The judgment, the divine wisdom. This is like a spiritual awakening, awakening to your gifts. Really reflecting and meditating, praying on what this is. This is um, you guys gaining a lot of inner strength here. And demonstrating your strength here, Cancer. Leo energy out here this divine wisdom card though in this page of swords you are learning like these soul level lessons here you're releasing what's no longer serving you and spirit might have showed you these things and um, really got you to to look into the deeper meaning of these things right and I see like I said there's an old part of you cancer that's sort of decaying and falling away here might be something to do with a mask that you put up or some it's something that i was feeling from childhood right but this is being worked through it's being cut off stepping into your divine feminine here abundant nurturing nourished loving energy i see the wheel of fortune under this page of swords so big change from this this you know broken heart this betrayal energy um that it seems like you've been feeling like you've been in for a long time and i see action here i see an opportunity to take this action i see you doing that and i actually hear the train outside right now so confirmation from spirit that you if you've been feeling alone if you've been feeling hurt if you've been feeling like you've been going through this and it's just been like you know sort of you rocking alone and going through these this shadow work and and now it seems like it's just you left spirit wants you to know that this is sort of like a heart chakra healing and it's an opportunity to step into this brand new energy to bring you know to do what you're passionate about um i see a lot of my cancers there's a there's something here about working on a project working with people um like-minded individuals to bring to bring this there's an opportunity i feel like for some of my cancers to get together and on some sort of project right now spirit saying take that action right but this is also taking action in your own spiritual work here your own realizations and moving forward from that space um being empowered through this shadow work right so you can move toward what it is that you want with this nine of cups here i see the fool as well so don't hold yourself back this is a message eight of swords the fool don't hold yourself back and stress yourself out here by overthinking things the fool is an energy of just taking that leap trusting the universe and knowing that you know all your hard work is going to pay off all of this strength demonstrated this shadow work none of it's in vain you're really stepping into a beautiful energy here and it's coming in hot also for some of my cancers there's some sort of divine um partnership now whether it's in love whether it's in work too this is two people coming together with equal uh with equal cups both cups full right this is communication coming in. This is also movement towards this. So um, we go. We got Nine of Pentacles, single lady, my single lady card to the lover. So possibly a connection coming in here and we will look at some uh, romance angels and check that out, right? Just uh, know that the universe bears witness to all you guys and pay attention to the red flags. Watch out um, for the, don't, don't let anybody bullshit you, my cancers. I see the nine of wands under that. So being guarded and, and trusting your intuition, right? Not overthinking things here. What do we have for my cancers in love in the heart space, please, spirit? Retreat, worth waiting for. <clears throat> Stay optimistic about your love life. 
honeymoon as well, which, which is about joy and bliss and enjoying the moment, right? Um, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens So for some of my cancers, it looks like there might be a water sign or a fire sign coming your way This person may be younger than you, right? Your love life is being affected by children I also feel like your inner child is being healed through this shadow work you've been doing cancer We've got the release your ex and then we've got playfulness. So this is bringing a uh, you know, letting loose, bringing lighthearted energy into the now, trusting the divine, trusting your intuition, moving, and uh, as you're being guided to move. And uh, wow, there's a lot of like fulfilling joy, happiness, love, energy coming this way. So again, I'm getting emphasis on this shadow work and not letting it sort of consume you. We've got Saraswati. We'll read this card real quick. And we've also got Sattva. I'm going to read this Sattva card first. Right? It, it says, You have let go of the things that were holding you back. <clears throat> and are reaching deeper levels of clarity. Maybe you've cleaned up your diet, home, self-care products, relationships, thought patterns, career goals, or life outlook, and are now experiencing the joys that come with purity. Saba. The space you have created is allowing greater gifts that are more aligned with your truth to present themselves. Continue on this path toward clarity by shedding all that is no longer serving you. When your body becomes pure, your thoughts in life will reflect that. Bring purity into all that you do and your path will uh, continue to become more clear. That's amazing. There's been a lot of th that card popping out a lot for a lot of the signs. Um, let's see, so let's see. 97. <clears throat> goddess of creativity intuition and insight so that I, i'm really getting a big message for my cancers to follow your intuition here okay um saraswati appears when you have surrendered to creativity the endless stream that we only catch a glimpse of but can feed us for life she is the sacred river flowing with divine wisdom nourishing us with nectar for the soul art music dance and literature you may draw upon Saraswati when new ideas are flourishing and you are channeling universal wisdom. Saraswati appears in the ingenious moment when you think of something straight from the heavens, when you lose yourself in dance, when you become one with the music. She is the very source of all inspiration, embodying the cosmos through communication, meditation, intuition, speech, and sound. Saraswati has come to deliver the message to pursue the creative idea with full force. You are fully supported by her blessings. And same, Cancer, I've been, I've been saying and I've been getting that you are... There is some sort of big opportunity to bring a lot of um, financial abundance, a lot of... Uh, steadiness stability into your life um so continue to cut these situations off that aren't serving you my beautiful cancer um also trust your intuition i do see a connection some communication coming your way um and embrace your gifts embrace the mystery of life this is beautiful energy my cancer i hope this message helps you in some way and um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box below. Um, also, if it resonated, drop me a comment, drop me an emoji, drop me something down below. Let me know what's popping. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one.